It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Green Bay Packers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. All that and more coming up next. Now the temperatures are cooling off, but the sun is still shining, and that makes for perfect football weather in the city of Pittsburgh at Acrisure Stadium. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here in the Steel City, I'm Brandon Gordon, joined by my partner, Charles Davis. And Charles, it doesn't matter what year it is, who the players are that are wearing the black and gold, it is never an easy assignment to come in and win here in Pittsburgh on this field. And this team always takes on the identity of this city. They're going to be tough physically, but they're also going to be tough mentally. Just three head coaches in 54 years. They've established their program. They know who they are. Good luck coming in and trying to take one from the Steelers. But meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, one era ends, another begins. This is a team that finished 8-9 last year, missed out on the playoffs at the very end. What needs to happen for the green and gold to be playoff bound once more? Everyone's focusing on how they're starting over on the offensive side of the ball. But to me, they have an accumulation of talent on defense that needs to play like a top 10, top 5 defense in the NFL. The kicker, Chris Boswell, has it ready to go. And we are underway from Pittsburgh. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here are the new look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out if Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Now a second down throw for Love here. And a Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Love now. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength, very nice route. Now following the completion, we're gonna get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff though, gonna take a peek and we'll take a break. From the 38 now, here's second and five. To throw now, here's Love. This complete to the tight end, Tucker Kraft. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A good looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get 
into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him, because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Other well, the pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. Getting the sack, the 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Love going to give this one to Jones. And nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Now Love. chance to scan the field there it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice the protection was that good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good on now is the Packers punter the back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin this is taken at about the 14 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Steelers' offense set for their first possession here, and it's Kenny Pickett who will lead the way, the second-year man, Charles, from Pitt. Pickett didn't quite lead Pittsburgh to the promised land in his first season as the hometown kid and franchise quarterback, but he did impress once he got on the field. Winning seven games helped keep the vaunted streak of non-losing seasons alive in the Steel City. Now the third-year man, Najee Harris. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game. Because trust me, guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella. It wears on him, and then he gets stronger as the game goes on. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum and now you're seeing the field really well. Off play action, pick it. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. A gain there of 21 yards. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Now pick it. Again, it's Johnson. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Pick it back to throw. And he's wrapped up. Take it down. Back at the 25. He'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure. And it's second down. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage? 
or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. He's got this to Pickens, and he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions, first and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting, pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Boswell good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. touchdown this taken in right around the goal line and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line they were trying to create some space to run they created the penalty and you work on it so much you work on it so hard but it's tough to simulate game speed in practice that often runs you into a penalty. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over-pursuing, and making a very nice play. They work now on second and nine. Love. That's taken in by Watson. Third and three. Here's Love. And he is caught. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Now a first down carry by Jones. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice touchdown, Packers. 39 yards for Aaron Jones, and the Packers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, we've said it many times. He is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands. And on this occasion, he did just that. Well, he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go. And when you're an RB1 running back one, you've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity in that opening, you take full advantage. Carlson's extra point up and good. And we are tied at seven.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Two yards to go, second down. Off the play fake, here's Pickett. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. And there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Pickett sets up play action. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides to avoid the hit. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And that one results in 35 yards. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. Quick completion here to Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200 plus right now. And the snap will come inside the five at the four. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Pick it. Open man is Johnson. Touchdown Steelers. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Steelers have taken the lead. An out route there for the score. A quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really serving the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands. Knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Boswell for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive in total eight plays. And in the end, it was Deontay Johnson's touchdown catch to cap the drive.
Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. Now the fourth-year man from B.C., it's A.J. Dillon. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They run again with Dillon. Takes it to about the 37. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. This a second and seven from the 37. Throwing. Love. Who finds his receiver, Watson? And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now Austin. It goes a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and they will take over first and 10. Take a look at Deontay Johnson as this offense runs back out. He's delivered a solid performance so far here in the second quarter. Everything has been good for him, and right now, if you're on defense, you don't want it to go to great. So you have to just change up coverages and looks on him all the time. Press coverage sometimes, back off and play some man, show some zone, double teaming, make him really work for each and every catch. He's hit the end zone once. Maybe there's more in the tank. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. 64 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second and a couple. Yeah. 
Jet sweep. Here's Pickens with it. Oh, and this one, him may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here now, third and a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. That'll go as a pickup of eight. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Here's Pickett. Johnson's got it complete. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Complete to Washington. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Boswell's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Cameron Hayward getting upfield to make the stop. I Cameron Hayward's ability to take on blocks, hold the point of attack, and get upfield serves him very, very well. What a nice play there. Yeah, he can take on blocks because he's built like a block. Play action this time with Love. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. The offense on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third down and 12. On the delay, Jones. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Certainly understand what they're doing there. Third and long draw play, but it did not work out. And you can certainly hear the thought process, too. People are thinking, why are you running it there? You've got to throw the football. But sometimes you catch the defense napping. You take a little bit of a chance there. It just didn't work in this case. On now is the Packers punter as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Austin. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
Here comes the Pittsburgh Steelers and running back Najee Harris. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards, now it's third and five. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. Pick it in trouble, and down he goes. Devontae Wyatt drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. Tried to create a little bit of that hocus pocus with some magic. But the defense, not impressed at all. They don't lose contain on this very dangerous runner, and they get a big stop. Now on fourth down, Presley Harvin on to punt for the Steelers. Now the rookie, Jaden Reed, deep for the Packers. Seven yards there on the punt, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Now these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. On second down, Dillon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Third down and 10. Love looking to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Brought down, but after we saw a flashy little move, stopped short of the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Now second and five. to pass. Here's Jordan Love setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. That one a first down pickup of eight. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way and really we shouldn't be surprised should we? That's what runners do especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. On first and ten Love his throw incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here's second and ten.
Love now. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was likely one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Jordan Love ready on first down here. He'll go over the middle to read complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And they're back within a touchdown at 17-10. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And this take it in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Najee Harris and the rest of this offense work their way back onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt.
Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Love now to pass on first down. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. This second and four. To throw now. Here's Love. Now this aired out deep for Reed. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We got a fine first half out of the former Alabama man, Najee Harris. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. Well, the Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Harris running straight ahead, and he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Pickett now on first down. Pickens on the slant. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now pick it. Here's a diving catch right side. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I know at retirement ceremonies, a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. 
So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. From the 35, here's second down and eight. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. On first and 10, it's Pickett. 27-yard line, he sacked. Rashawn Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. He's known for his legs and his fancy footwork, but he's not getting much of a chance to use it here. The defense continue to hold the upper hand by bringing him down on that play. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Pick it, a look to throw it here. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To the right side, incomplete to Washington. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. So Pickett is off to the sideline, and Chris Boswell is on for the Steeler field goal try. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. Boswell's kick is good, and they double him up here. That makes our score 20-10. to 10. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, Keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half and get going. Make no mistake about it though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people wanted to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. They'll break the huddle, send three receivers left, one to the right on second and five. Now Love. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. 
We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. First down, love to pass. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They go back to the ground with Jones. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion and a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now the terrible towels in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. On third down, Love. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 26. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Love going to give this one to Jones. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. They'll go again to Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 95 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, it's sometimes a thing of beauty. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. The sack will push him back only a couple yards, but certainly not what they were hoping for on first and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Love with a give to Dillon. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, yeah, is it? Yeah, defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Love, this is third and goal. Forced out to his one, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Alex Highsmith making a nice play and getting the sack. And it has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch. 
reception. He's in. Touchdown, Steelers. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. Well, let's be honest. A lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? You're yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules, and if you do, you're taking on some responsibility, but he was happy to do so there. Extra point put through by Boswell, and the lead now up to 14. teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And inside give to Jones. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Again, it's Jones. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got it out. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. First down, going to the air with Love. A check down here to Jones. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Throwing, Love. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Reed. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 27-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Love from the gun. A short throw to Musgrave. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and six. Off the play fake, Love. And he's got it. It's caught from Packers. Touchdown. 
Josiah DeGuara, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Did you see how the linebackers froze for just a second? That's why you run play action. You want to keep them rooted in the spot and create a little bit of extra space so your tight end can find some room behind them. And then the quarterback finds his target downfield and he turns it into six points. Carlson's extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Now a first down carry for Harris. He'll get this to about the 38. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and seven. Pick it back to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Warren. So the completion good for just three. And it's third and four now. Pick it. open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete well the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less we have to be able to convert and I guess every team would say that Charles but an opportunity missed there what they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point and they like some matchups that they had thought they could exploit them unable to do so on that play and on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 119 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. They'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Now a first down carry by Jones. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, 
He's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks. And now here's a tackle behind the line. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up in the late going. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this is taken at the 23. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And he'll get this to the 32. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's going to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Here's Pickett. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Oh, the return is Reed. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. The Packers offense set to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scald out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Second down, long. Open man is Musgrave, the tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route will run, and the football right on the money. On first and 10, Love got Dobbs over the middle. 
Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up second down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could do your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up for the first and goal. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone, but sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Love, they go play action now. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Certainly, those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Carlson on for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Steelers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. A last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and ten. Finds Pickens out right. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about ten. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Huge play at this point in the game. Rashawn Gary able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 
Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Pick it to throw. Connecting with Johnson. They're going to be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Short gain, short gain the last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense, they're saying go right ahead with those. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Looking to throw here. Pick it. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. Now second down and a few inches. Love looking to throw it. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Oh, man, late in a tight ball game, every play so critical. You feel like you've got to find a way to come up with that football. That was put in a great spot, but it just didn't want to stick in his hands. That's a big letdown. And he is caught. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. They'll come up now. Second and nine. Now Love. And his throw is incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Here's Love. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Oh boy, this sets up for a huge call now on fourth down because you can try the long field goal, you could go for it, or you could punt and play for overtime. I am so glad, partner, that I don't have to make those kind of decisions. Let's see what they decide. And now a low liner. I think he mishit him. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. This is first and 10. They'll start the drive with Harris. And that's not going to help a whole lot. Maybe four yards on first down. Time. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, 
This is exactly how it should end, going to overtime because neither one got an advantage today. So, advantage Packers here. They'll possess the ball first with a chance to win it here in overtime. Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now the Packers get set to go. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I don't think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. Love. And that will be incomplete. Defense did its job. Now they're going to get the football with a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we've got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a chance to win the game. And boy, they did it well. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pick it with the first throw of overtime. That's caught downfield by Pickens. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. They hand this off to Harris. And yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 120 yards rushing now as he's done it on 22 carries. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is. It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. Preston Smith there on the stop. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Najee Harris, the one he was looking for, and it'll bring up third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. Oh, and that's so close to being intercepted. That could have been a big turnover in overtime if he had held on. Instead, though, it is still fourth down. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear 
the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. 